What's up, everyone? We're Emily the Sauce here, and we are back. And today, we're bringing you our first Attack on Titan What If. Since, you know, Season 4 is starting out, we thought, you know, it should be good to do something like this. Because we don't see a lot of What Ifs on Attack on Titan. Now, <clears throat> this What If is on What If Aaron had the Armor Titan Power instead of the Attack Titan Power. So, basically, What If Aaron had the Armor Titan Power? And we're if you haven't caught up to Season 3... Do not watch this because it's going to contain a lot of spoilers in the beginning. Alright, so just putting out there a spoiler warning before you watch. Alright, now let's get started. In the beginning, we're going to start back when Gersha is about to get turned into a titan and the owl saves him. This time, basically what's different is that the owl has the armor titan power instead of the attack titan power. He still gives it a Gersha. And Gersha still does end up at, you know, the main area of Attack on Titan. And the same thing goes on. He takes the Founding Titan's power. And then he passes it on to Eren. Now, we're going to start... This This is this first part is going to be all of Season 1. Since it really only affects when Eren is on his, his Titan power form. So we're going to start in the beginning. And the only things are that... The armor titan doesn't break through the wall. Also, for y'all's information, Rhino would have the attack on titan power for this what if. So Rhino with the attack on titan power would try to break the gate but isn't powerful enough. And the colossal titan would just break the wall in this what if. Everything is still the same with Eren's mom dying. When Eren's dad gave him the titan powers, he would have the armor titan instead. Everything is the same until Eren's first time transforming. He would last longer against the titans. But since Eren does not know how to use his powers, he'll be sometimes running. Which will lead to the armor on the back of his knee to break like we saw in the actual show when Reiner sprinted and the armor broke. With that part of the titan breaking, a titan would bite him there and cause Eren to collapse. Eventually, Eren will emerge out of his titan body and be sent to jail. Everything will be the same up to Eren fighting Annie for the first time. Annie would still win this battle, but it will take longer than the original fight from the show due to Eren having the armor titan, which is much stronger and can handle Annie's hardening attacks. Eventually, Annie would win when she had weakened the armor on Eren's head and decapitate him with a hardening kick like she did in the show. Then the scene will play out like they did in the show. Levi and Mikasa will save Eren. Eventually, everyone will figure out that Annie is the female titan. The scouts will come up with a plan to lure Annie underground and like in the show it wouldn't work things will play out the same like they did in the show up till Aaron transforms Aaron now knowing what any can do with her powers can win against her he has great defense and only has to watch out for her hardening attacks Annie would still make a break for the wall and climb it until Mikasa cuts her down then Aaron would pin down Annie but she'll still crystallize herself before anyone can get to her and it would be kept in prison in that basement and people would still see the wall of Titan through a hole Annie made when she climbed the wall. Alright guys, that's really enough since that's the end of the first part. The second part might also be the whole of season two. But we hope you all enjoyed. Um make sure if you want to watch this, catch up on Attack on Titan. And yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you did, and we'll try to make more as we can. Alright, see you in the next video.